Have you ever wondered about the meaning of life? Or questioned the existence of gods and the afterlife? Well, you're not alone. In fact, two ancient philosophers, Epicurus and Lucretius, dedicated their lives to answering these fundamental questions. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of Epicurus and Lucretius, exploring their profound philosophical ideas and how they can still resonate with us today. Epicurus, a Greek philosopher who lived from 341 to 270 BCE, believed that pleasure was the ultimate goal in life. But hold on, before you start picturing a life of hedonism and excess, let me explain further. For Epicurus, pleasure did not mean indulging in fleeting desires or material possessions. Instead, he believed in the pursuit of long-term, sustainable pleasure that leads to tranquility and a sense of fulfillment. Lucretius, a Roman poet and philosopher, was greatly influenced by Epicurus. In his famous work, On the Nature of Things, Lucretius beautifully expounded on Epicurus' teachings, presenting them in poetic form. This masterpiece not only captured the essence of Epicurean philosophy but also explored profound ideas about the nature of the universe and the insignificance of human existence in the grand scheme of things. One of the key concepts of Epicurean philosophy, as interpreted by Lucretius, was the pursuit of ataraxia, or inner peace. They believed that by understanding and embracing the natural world, we could free ourselves from unnecessary fears and anxieties. Lucretius poetically described the beauty of nature, urging readers to appreciate the simple pleasures that life has to offer. But what does all of this mean for us in the modern world? Well, think about it. In our fast-paced and chaotic lives, we often find ourselves chasing after external validations and material possessions, hoping they will bring us happiness. But as Epicurus and Lucretius remind us, true fulfillment lies in finding inner peace and embracing the beauty of the present moment. Imagine this, Epicurus himself, wandering through the bustling streets of a modern city, observing people consumed by their ambitions and desires. With a wise smile on his face, he would gently remind us to slow down, to take a moment to appreciate the simple joys of life, a warm cup of tea, a heartfelt conversation, or a walk in nature. He would encourage us to let go of our fears and anxieties, to embrace the natural world around us, and to find contentment in the pursuit of sustainable pleasure. So, the next time you find yourself caught up in the never-ending race for success and recognition, remember the wisdom of Epicurus and Lucretius. Take a step back, breathe, and ask yourself, what truly brings me joy? What are the simple pleasures that make life worth living? Embrace their philosophy of inner peace and watch as your perspective on life transforms. In the end, Epicurus and Lucretius remind us that philosophy is not just a subject to be studied in dusty textbooks. It is a way of living, a guide to finding meaning and fulfillment in our own lives. So, dare to explore their teachings, and let the wisdom of these ancient philosophers inspire you to live a life of tranquility and true happiness.